Yes guys, how's it going and welcome back to my video today on the channel and today we've got our first gay says video of the 2022-2023 season. That season got promoted back the National League one step away from the Football League. <clears throat> um, today we head down to the stadium to have an interview with one of the players. I'm not going to let uh, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm going to insert a clip after this to, to see if you can guess who it is. And if you like and subscribe, massively appreciate it. Hope you all enjoy. <laughs> Yes guys, as you can see, we're in the stadium now, and on my right, you can see the main man himself, Greg Oli, how are you doing mate? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I've just got a few questions for you today, if that's alright. Um, so first of all, obviously, you're giving the captaincy a few years ago, how did it feel for you to be given that on a captaincy? Yeah, it was like a real privilege um, for, for Mike and the rest of the group to be the captaincy. Um, it's probably something I never thought I'd... I do, yeah. um, just for my personality, he's not really, well, when I was younger, yeah. I never thought I'd be a captain, but yeah. um, when I was at home, I was captain in the 23s, so maybe it was, maybe it was the right fit, yeah. um, but no, it was, it was a privilege to, to know that they yeah. trust me to be captain, yeah. and I think it obviously was well last year, really. Um, obviously, last season, being promoted back to the National League, how did it feel to like, accomplish that, of being captain in the field club as well? Yeah, I mean this is my like, this is the team that I support now. So yeah. for me, it's like the, the perfect um, to have your team yeah. go and win the league. Especially, it's, uh, it's, it's such an honour and yeah. being able to captain my team. Is, yeah. uh, that's how that's how our picture yeah. last year going. Um, many people would doubt yeah. us to win the league itself or even get promoted. So to win the league as captain is a major honour. Um, one of my highlights. I came here, first game, like my first ever game this season was against Alfred I don't remember if it when you scored last minute winner. So it was the first highlight for me. Uh, did you have a particular highlight of your like, playing last season? Um, I don't think it's a particular highlight because I think every every game yeah. was a highlight, every yeah. game was different. But obviously the Alfred game here when I scored that, that's um, that obviously sticks in my mind. Yeah. Um, and then the Kidderman's the game at home. Uh, I think that was the season, like the final yeah. game, um, just to prove that we are probably deserving winners because they were the, probably our closest rivals, even with Brackley were closest. Yeah. Um, and then even the game at Brackley, losing, yeah. um, to, to go and beat after that game was especially, uh, especially good. Yeah. I remember the Brackley game after it, it's like said to be dark, oh, I never going to do it now, I just thought it was dead, but obviously you turned it around. How, how did you uh, celebrate like after winning the league? Like after like, after all of your hard long season you wouldn't be how to celebrate with all the lads? Um we actually won the league at Chorley, didn't we? Yeah. So um the bus journey back was good. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a had a bit of like a party bus on the bus. Um and then it was just after the Hurricane game I was I think it was yeah. a perfect day with four and a half thousand fans and stuff and then Great, yeah. um, we all went to a, a restaurant and stuff after and we all together so it was yeah. nice. After a long hard season, how did you like? How did you personally celebrate like and enjoy your time off? Thank you so much. Um, so me and my girlfriend got two dogs, so we went to Scotland and um, actually got engaged. <laughs> oh, well, good. Uh, um, so yeah, we got went to Scotland and then we went to, to Greece just us two, so we had quite a nice. Good. Um, how did how did you get back now after after a few days of training? How did you set them back in and get them back in training? Yeah, I yeah, think it's my favourite day of the season, to be honest, just getting back in after, I mean, especially with having, winning the league, you get yeah. actually longer off. Um, with last, last couple of seasons in the yeah. playoffs, we've always finished there, so we've not had that much time off, so it was nice to have that bit of time off, but again, it's always nice to get back in yeah. and see the lads again and yeah. start playing football. Um, obviously, we've made a few new signings, Kent um, Tom and Lewis. How have they been settling in over the last couple of days? Yeah, I think they've settled in really well. And, um, it's always, it's always sour taste yeah. when two players go, but mm -hmm. and then a few others have, have left as well. But yeah. the new lads have came in and they look really good, and I think they'll fill yeah. the places um, quite well. Yeah. Um, and they've settled in obviously so far. Very good. I know this question. I know you might not know much about this, but do, do you think they'll have many favourite signings? I see you might not know, but oh, you know something? Maybe. <laughs> Keep that in mind. 
Uh, I can give you an excuse if I don't think I'm allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you and the boys aiming to achieve this season? Obviously, promotion to the football league would be amazing. That's all what we want. But any, but what do you want personally? Yourself yeah, I mean, football? Mike's kind of put the nail on the head. Like, just we don't really want to set a target. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be a, it'd be wise not to, yeah, just yeah, because yeah. we don't really know. I mean, I know we're. My first season we were in this league and it was, it was, it was a hard league but we still finished ninth and, um, and I feel like our team and like Gateshead as a whole is much better this, this time around so obviously getting to League 2 would be amazing and if we could do that back to back then I don't think anyone would see it to be honest um, but no I think that's the year whether it's this year next year or the year after I think that's, that's the year. Are there any like, teams this season that you're looking forward to like play? Yeah, all of them to be honest. Um, obviously, I want to face them too against Nuts, Nuts County. Um, I want to. Obviously, Wrexham's a good place to go. We went there last time. Um, and then you've got the big teams coming down like Scunthorpe and Oldham and um, South End, Yeovil. They're all really big football league teams that are now in this league, which shows how competitive it is. Nuts County is a team for me. Just for my very head we have. Well, how do you feel when you obviously found out that then to it then to it was down? Um, obviously I knew I knew about Macca but Ked was um, a bit further after so I yeah. didn't know that was gonna happen. Um, it's obviously a shame, but again they're just two players in a whole squad of sixteen so as much as they deserve their new yeah. credit to them, um, it's gone now and we just focus on our squad that we've got now. Right then, I think that's all. What was your favourite game? My favourite game. The half mile thing, first one. Either troll, trolley because we won the league, or the Dalton game. Boom, or where? Boom. It's hard time to be a diamond there. Yeah. It's pretty much that's what my Right then, there we are. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, massive thanks to Greg for spending some time for with what he did. Um, looking forward to next season. Coming mo most gated home games on the channel. A few away games now and then. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The road for two hundred is on. We're only twenty nine away. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you next time. Bye bye.